Parents in Rowan County schools are speaking out tonight after a racist threat went out to students on Snapchat. The superintendent says the threats are not credible, but that hasn't stopped some students from skipping school out of fear. Evening Edition's Christiana Ford went to Rowan County to find out what's being done. It's not a good feeling, never knowing what's going to happen, always on your toes, looking over your shoulder. This Rowan County school student is staying anonymous for their own safety. They say racism in their school and out is out of control. It's been getting worse and just escalating within the school. One of my friends got posted just sitting in class doing his homework, call, called the N-word and stuff on the story. Multiple students and parents sent us photos and messages of a string of racial slurs directed towards students of color, both at school and on Snapchat. But on Monday, it escalated beyond just words into this anonymous threat of violence. I myself called the sheriff that night to let them know to be on standby because there was somebody saying that they were gonna bring a weapon to school to harm children of color. The threat was made on Snapchat, which is why the school says it's so hard to track down the person responsible and hold them accountable. A button saying, ask me anything. Someone can type whatever they want in that box and send it without a trace. Superintendent John Maxey says they are taking concerns seriously, but the sheriff's office investigated and didn't find good solid evidence to do anything further. Yesterday they had no reason to feel that anybody was in danger or that there was any credible threat that was an immediate threat to the students. And of course a lockdown is reserved for our most emergent, uh, most uh, escalated emergency situation. There were two extra officers at school on Tuesday. But parents are still keeping their kids home from school, unable to trust that they're being heard. Now I'm at a point where I'm asking myself and the staff, what are you waiting for? Are you waiting for them to shoot? Are you waiting for um, to actually see the gun with your own eyes? Parents are banding together, demanding to see a visible solution to the racism their kids are facing. But there should be even a zero tolerance policy, even up to expulsion. They should be afraid to threaten other people, regardless of what they look like. And Superintendent Maxey says it's coming. We certainly don't feel like that we have a wide systemic issue of racism, but we do have small pockets of racism that occur, and we are looking into addressing that. In Rowan County, Christiana Ford, Evening Edition.